What's up, Fire Squad? My name is Ed, and welcome back to another video. Now, guys, today we got a special video for you guys. Now, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video if you guys want to see more of these videos. Because I'm back with another story video, guys. Because uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a story video. Like, wow. How long has it been? Since, what, 2016? It's been that long? Three years, man. Jeez. But anyways, um, so throughout the time, um, I had to go over a few things in my head, and of course I forget to upload, um, the stories that come back to my head. I have a few now, but, um, this one I really want to talk about. So, this is going to be something that you have to keep in open mind and watch the whole entire video, because, guys, I have to make sure you guys know, this is the type of video that you guys have to literally watch and keep an open mind okay so this is the story of how i basically and don't get me on this i was literally like maybe this close to dropping an old man now keep in mind i don't express violence towards elderly people especially when it's old people that you have to respect for two different reasons number one <laughs> they are fragile <laughs> and they are very 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 cool. so and it's best to be gentle to them because and they're very well so um but this man this man let me tell you guys something <laughs> this old man was one of the worst ones there because let me tell you something okay i had to deal with a lot of racial stereotypes black and white and you know why because <laughs> some of them were jokes but some of them were jokes but most of them were basically because of my voice I am speaking in proper English, which, of course, a lot of people think that that is something uh, a white person does. Which, if that's the case, then w what am I? Am I basically a white person? Is that what you're saying to me? And this is where I kind of draw the line with certain parts that like this. And I also give uh, black racial comments, too, so it's nothing too different. So, um... I went to the laundromat, I had to get my clothes done, and then I went back to the car, right? And I had to go in, uh, like, we had to go back. So, I was with my father at the time, we had to go back home, and, uh, we stop at this red light, and there are two guys right there. One that is probably in his 20s, and the other guy, who is clearly the elderly guy I was talking to that stuff. This guy right here, <laughs> had the nerve to do something so dumb, so... I was kind of bored, right? I was just thinking about what I was going to do and all that stuff because I always love to look out the window. I roll down the window. Tell me why this motherfucking guy. And let me tell you something. This guy's white, by the way. This guy had the nerve to say the N-word. Super fucking loud. <laughs> and tell me why. I was standing like, yo, yo, and I look at my father, and I tell him this, father, unlock this door, because he knows what I was about to do, he literally knew what I was about to do, he refused and told me to calm down, and I was like, so, as this was happening, right, this guy did this to people who are basically black. Like, keep in mind, we were literally like right near them. Like, it wasn't even that far. It was literally like that close. He said that out loud. Like, are you dumb? And then the weird thing is, I find this weird to most of my society that literally drops me about this. How the fuck do you guys think that, oh, this shit is not meant to be a racist word. It's just a word. I'm like, you clearly don't understand, do you? 
Uh, and the weird thing is that some of these guys were actually smart. They just don't really care. And then I'm like, guys, come on. Anyway, so we pretty much just had to go home and my father had to talk to me about this shit. And I reflected on this and I imagined what happened if my father would have told, would have unlocked the doors. Cause if he unlocked the doors, let me tell you something. When I was 16, I was going through like some dark shit. And it was hard for me to literally, like, digest the society as a whole. Considering the fact that I was already dealing with people calling me white and shit, calling me a cracker and all that. And, th and this was all over social media. This was, like, during my social media times. And I was dealing with this one guy that um, pretty much had the nerve to send people to my Twitter telling me I'm white. I'm like, bruh, really? <laughs> and this was because, um... I'm not gonna say it, cause of course he probably might watch this video, I don't fucking know, cause he probably still follows me to this day, I don't fucking know, he probably doesn't, I don't know, but I ain't gonna say it cause I don't wanna get my sh shit into like a suing situation, so I refuse. Anyway, so when we got back uh, towards um, that situation, I realized that I would've actually gone to jail. <laughs> I would have gone to jail because keep in mind my temper was like from here to here and it was skyrocketing like a volcano I was this close into dropping this elderly man to the ground and getting arrested even if I explained it to people they wouldn't understand so it was kind of hard for me to think about that for a minute and try to go back on it so of course what was I going to do in that situation what was I really going to do in that situation because I knew back then especially when I was like what 16 I knew that I wasn't going to drop a fucking elder I wasn't going to do that shit I was thinking about it yes but I was not going to do it of course I wasn't going to do it why the fuck would I? So, I, I thought about this and I was so happy that my father didn't do that. Because if I did, I would have ended up in jail regardless. Or even worse. So, it would have never mattered. <laughs> so, let's just say that ended pretty well, I guess. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. <laughs> this was a freaking... This was a blast from three years ago, man. Like, seriously. <sighs> I couldn't do that shit, bro. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Zed out!